will start it up. Yes, we are really on uh, 1436. <laughs> All right, so it's been a little while since we played. Um, almost a month. Like, well, I think a month. So let's just get uh, and here reacquainted. And how time flies. Yeah. So we are just getting reacquainted. I know I lost the HRE, so I dumped like uh, I'm dumped down to about a third of my military. So I'm not going to do much. And as I gained much. it, I jumped up to a bajillion times my military. Yeah. So now uh, Austria is going to be the uh, the warmonger, not so much me. Although I wasn't really a warmonger, just keeping G Germany a mess. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um. And we need to uh, make sure to let people know one of the things that we're planning on doing is um, when you finish the Imperial Reforms, um, when you get to the last one, it actually absorbs any member nations that are still part of the HRE into whoever the current Emperor is. So we're going to make sure whichever one of us, and we're going to make sure one of us uh, is in charge of the HRE, warns the other person uh, that it's time to get the hell out of the HRE. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or be eaten. We don't want that. Would be hilarious, but not not very nice. It's probably going to be you because I wasn't vassalizing anybody. I didn't even think about that. Uh, when someone uh, gets too big and eats some uh, other nations, that you vassalize all of them, or while well, you vassalize the one you're at war with, and then if they're, I guess, especially if they're uh, giving you a vote. So, I don't have vassals with any of the voters. I haven't taken any of those as vassals, so okay. that would probably be your key to getting back into it, is if you have the opportunities uh, to invade and vassalize the various uh, voters. I just don't know how it turned around so fast that you have, uh, they're all voting for you, and I don't know really what happened. I, th um, I thought I was being a good emperor. <laughs> yeah, there was a moment where, there was a moment where your infamy spiked because uh, you had three unlawful provinces yeah and that caused you to have a little dive and my prestige at that point had rocketed because of events basically and uh, so I had three people voting for me so I just bought them all off because I was sitting on a giant pile of money yeah you have a bunch of gold provinces down there yeah I got nothing just some crappy uh, German grain territories I guess I've got a, a good mix of stuff, actually. I've got some iron. And... What it, what its main thing is, is you don't have as big of a population base. Like, all of your population is in uh, Bohemia. And yeah. so the rest of your provinces kind of suffer. Whereas with mine, uh, I've got a fairly decent spread. So every province that I have, pretty much, gets a decent tax base. Yeah, it looks like even if I got into Hungary, which I've already done, taking the Ursek place and the Pressburg, and even Poland, the countries aren't very, uh, not that great. The populations are like under 10,000. So, most of them. Oh, hey, I'm gonna go broke in November, because I'm over here just freaking buying up units and shit. Oh, hey, I can turn down my unit. Because right, I'm not get... at war for five seconds. Yeah. Should we start the speed up? In one second. I guess I was just starting to build uh, const uh, constables. I just got the research to do it. All right, I'm ready whenever you are. There we go. Royal marriages from everyone. I've also got 21 inflation. Ouch. Yeah. Okay, I'm over here at two inflation, and I was thinking I was in a bad place, but that's no. not too bad. As usually happens in my games, though. I used to get a lot of inflation, and then I it doesn't start coming down until I'm far into doing colonial stuff. But with Bohemia, there won't be any colonial stuff. So I don't I, know how I'm going to get that down. I am generally really, really, really anal retentive about not ending up with a retarded amount of inflation. <laughs> I hate inflation so much. I mean, you've seen the uh, 
the loading message, did you know that inflation is bad? Yeah. Oh, I know. Uh, I see it every time. And you're probably just like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not even sure really why it happens. Uh, I guess, like I was saying, for me in my games in, in single player, when it turns around is when I get the colonial stuff going and I get all the tariffs. Yeah. That, uh, and then of course by then I'm also my merchants are doing really well and a whole bunch of different markets. By then it just turns around. Like I get more income than I can spend, and then it just I can start uh, reducing it again. And also by then, of course, I've got the uh, uh, central bank and a level six minter going all the time. And then eventually you can get the tax assessor and centralization. You go all the way over with to the left, and you get a little bit of a uh, re inflation reduction. So. I don't know. I usually, uh, I've been trying my best not to be going on uh, National Bank for a lot of games now. The only reason I do is because of inflation. It's not like I plan for it. It's that, oh, you have inflation, I better get the, uh, the bank right at the beginning. <laughs> Allied with Finland, Norway, Burgundy, Holland, and Peskov. Fuck. I got um, uh, Liberation Cassis Belly against Denmark, but I don't really want to go to war with Burgundy again. Although I could make them release in Liege. But then they're dead. That's the end of Burgundy. Got too many horsemen in one of my armies. That's something that might not uh, be a, a common uh, knowledge is if you have too many horsemen in an army, then you don't get the benefits of having both. There's some kind of uh, damage benefit or something. I can't remember now. Yeah, you get a, a shock bonus, I think it is. It's either a shock bonus or a discipline bonus. I can't remember which. Um, I actually go way overboard so that I don't have that. I, if it's a 50-50 split in the army, unless you're uh, Poland, then you can have 60-40 um, cavalry to infantry. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I actually just go 75-25 uh, just to make sure, just to be safe. Because the, the troops you lose the most of when you're in combat are the infantry. I wonder where I should be going next. Is uh, Pomeranian in the HRE? Yes. Poland I isn't. Poland. I guess Poland then. I wonder if they got stuff. But they got, they're allied with a bunch of people I don't really want them. Oh, they're allied with France. How did that even happen? Poland and France. France became desperate for France. We gotta keep France a mess like it is now. We gotta keep them out of Brittany. France is not quite a mess. Well, it's not It's not uh, formed. They still got a bunch of stuff. And Burgundy's still out. If Burgundy and Brittany are out, then France is a mess still. Well, not a mess. Certainly not a mess compared to Germany, but... We don't want any monsters, except for the uh, later HRE beneficiary. Goddamn rebels and gores. I really can't wait until those become core provinces. <laughs> Jeez. I already missed the Papal State. <laughs> I did, uh, in my single player game, I did form the uh, Kingdom of God. Oh, yeah? But it didn't change the name of any of my country. I, I was still called the Papal State, but uh, I don't. I think it was just kind of a one-time bonus, and that was it. And I ended No, up... what you, you have to do is, when, uh, did you save the game and reload? Um, what do you mean? Whenever you After? do one of, the, uh, one of the convert nation ones... Yeah. 
you have to... Oh my goodness, I have to, uh... Hold on. I have to, uh... Kill somebody. And crank that taxi back up. Somebody's been bad. That's what I'm looking for, the military. Bod, bod, bod. Are you allied with people? I don't think I'm out. Merchants are still 15 and 12 bucks. It's just way too much. I wonder if I should try it anyways. I'm going to try it anyways. I'm going to try to get into the merchant stuff, even though it's a little expensive right now. But um, I like how you say right now. Why? Because it's always expensive. No, it, it'll come down. I guess if you get the one... Uh, if you get the one... Uh, National idea, it, you know, it goes down by a third. But it, I don't know, it, it does get cheaper. I'm not sure why uh, it's expensive for this, for Bohemia. Because it can be like nine bucks. If it's your own uh, COT, then it's cheaper. Yes, if it's your own COT or, and when it's closer. I wonder if I should start a COT. I, would, I guess I need a lot of money though, that's not going to happen. Yeah, you would need to have uh, 500 blocks. ducats, and you would need to break out of the trade compactor. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's worthwhile. It's actually a real pain in the ass. Well, getting 500 bucks is not not going to be too fun. It's going to make inflation even worse. Not that I'm actually getting inflation down right now. I'm still increasing it by 0.5 a year. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Pretty much my costs are military maintenance. I have no idea how I'm supposed to liberate these from Bob. I can't, like, give them back to, the, to Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland, what happens? They got run over. Yeah. Go take out Baden. Oh, yeah, I guess that wouldn't work, though. You can't give it back. Switzerland has to take it themselves. Oh, well, just take the countries for yourself. Attack Baden and take the stuff for yourself. That is highly illegal, though, Baden. I can't believe they did that. They just, like a tornado, just ripped right through Switzerland. I don't even know what to do here. I mean, I suppose I could take them. And then... Oh, I could take them and save up magistrates and return them. What's your inflation at? Or, I mean, uh, infamy. 5.4. I, if I got into that market. Oh, I guess it's still pending. Still pending on entering the Lubeck market. Yeah, you could probably turn it up to at least three. To at least three? Yeah. Oh, that is a five. Looking at it two. like, why do I only have 13? <clears throat> I have two. I suppose that's what I have to do, is take them and then give them back. Alright, well that's just the uh, way of things. Declare war. Imperial liberation. 
here. Allied with Augsburg and Holm, guaranteed by Bavaria, the Palatinate has to go. Okay, now who all am I at war with? Baden, Baden, uh, whoops. Oh my god, I'm at war with Switzerland to get Switzerland's provinces back. <laughs> Why did they ally? I don't know. They probably vassalized them. Baden, Augsburg, Bavaria, the Palatinate, Switzerland, and Holm. <laughs> the Palatinate. What a joke. <laughs> They're even moving their one soldier down, looks like, through my uh, country to attack you. Uh-oh, look out. He's coming. Palatinates, oh, they're on their way. Oh, I can join. I can join the alliance. And I will take out Franken, it will be mine. Oh, what are you doing? You're taking out Franken. I was going to eat Franken. Oh shit, and now I'm at war with France. Okay, hold on, hold on. We better get it slow down here. Um, so, obviously I'm going to need to help you here. But I want Franken. I want Franken, so you need to get off Franken. Um, okay. So if I declare war alliance... Oh, I need to get rid of military access, so I'll just hold on a minute here. Okay, uh... Can I unpause it? Uh, yeah, you probably don't want to take Franken. You probably want to vassalize the Palatinate. That should steal their vote from me. Oh, they don't vote anymore. Oh, it looks like France is hitting Burgundy, too. Yes, that's who I'm at war with now. Which one? France? France. Okay. Well, it's a, probably a good idea because we don't want them taking Burgundy. I want to leave them like that. We don't want any monsters. Okay, as soon as uh, I, I'm able, I'll declare war on Palatinate and whoever else jumps in on that. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, this is going to be bad. Is there a problem? Um, I'm at war with France. You're the HRE. Come on. I was over there. I was taking, well, I guess I was taking out Burgundy, wasn't I? Not France. Well, this is going to be a test of your emperorship. <laughs> right? Something like that. Alright, I'm still waiting on uh, jumping in here. Yeah, I'm going to take Frank and then I'll... Maybe I'll roll over there, though. I'll vassalize him and take Frank and, like, as my own. Who else are you at war with? Oh, Alm? Oh, I guess you're sitting on them, though. Right? Yeah, but not for long. I'm about to just ignore them and walk away. Well, I can sit on them after I'm done with Frank and, so... Whoops. Okay, so I'm going to jump in here. Oh, Poland. They better not do Poland. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, look at all these stupid countries. Okay, Poland is attacking me, too. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to watch Poland here. Okay, so I'll jump in on Frank in there. I'll just take half my military, though. And then the other half, I'm going to go and attack Poland and see if I can kick them out of this war quickly. Because I don't really want to deal with two fronts here. On, back up, get there. Okay, so I am trying to figure out how I'm going to deal with France, because, dear God, France. Yeah, for some reason, Ulm is not in... I'm not at war with Ulm, so I can't do anything against them. Okay, Poland is just sitting there. Maybe I can tell them to go away. Nope, they won't do white peace. Well, then I'm going to run over Poland. I'm going to try. I'd like a general for that, though. What's going on? Oh, army tradition is at 70. This is going to be a pretty wicked general. 
Let's see, how much does it cost? 67 bucks. I gotta wait for the year to end before I get a general. France has Grand Army, so that means at least they didn't take uh, military drill. Oh, you mean their, their great idea? So they have a bigger army than they normally can have. Oh, geez, they're uh, sieging Burgundy big time. Yeah, I know. Need to get up there. You have any generals? Yeah, I got two of them. Well, put one of them on the Sun Sundal place. Working Sun, on it. Sun Sun Gao, and then go and take out uh, the guy to the southwest there. All right, as soon as. The year is ending, I'm going to get a general, and I'm going to start attacking Poland. Where's he going? Oh, I need to get him. There's a, a Lithuanian army coming. I'm going to see if I can get him before he joins the Poland army, which would not be good. Okay, wait. Okay, general. Oh, he's just ridiculous. He's, uh... Six fire, two shock, one siege, four maneuver. It's ridiculous. Okay, as soon as this uh, Lithuanian army comes over here, I'm going to get them. I've come to realize that my land tech is not high enough. Does France have better stuff? Uh, everybody has better stuff. Well, mine's only a five. Okay. Who is this? Moldavia's got some crap over here, too. So I'll just deal with that. Oh no, they beat me. The army that my frickin' bulk of my forces is up against is insanity. Let's see. Oh, shit. Where are you? Uh, on you my way to Munchen. Okay. There's like 30,000 troops there. I'm trying, I'm chasing some armies right now. Kind of a pain. Oh, Poland took Danzig. I did not know that. Well, I could release them, too, as part of it, I guess. Oh, it's annoying when they keep running away. Really annoying. Oh, Am I winning shit. this, or what? Oh. Guess that was done. I'm not winning this. Maybe I'll go up here. Oh, I did win. I think I won. Oh my god, France's general is insane. <laughs> I can imagine. What is he on the 19? Oh, the, oh look. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna wipe you out. That is not good. Oh, Comet sighted, yay. That's always fair. Holy shit, he just eradicated that 13,000 troops like they were nothing. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's got like more than double, so. That, that's what's gonna happen. The backup forces are trying to get there. I'm uh, holding off Poland, I guess. The Lithuania's in this too, which I didn't know. Oh no, I got booted. Oh, he's trying to wipe me out here. It's too much. I 
like it like that. Yeah, we oh, both I seem did. to be suffering from that problem. I got wiped out. Lost uh, one of my armies. Oh, come on, come on. Stay together, guys. Stay together. There's more coming. Your backup is ever so slowly on their way. Okay, of what I can see of France, they have 70,000 troops. <laughs> that is uh, not going to be uh, good. At least Burgundy's okay still, right? Oh no, they took a piece of them, didn't they? They, they Holy shit, I actually won that fight. Um, How did that happen? I don't know. And their general is a six-shock general. Oh god, they've got 40,000 troops coming in. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Holy. Oh, so do you, though. That'll be for the history books. Yeah, but their troops are a lot better than mine. Because they've got... Uh... Oh god. They've got oh god. That's really all there is to say. <laughs> they've got oh god. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching it here. Although I can't see the details, but... Uh, it's... Six, 17,000 horses and 32,000 uh, men-at-arms, which is theirs, versus 12,000 horsemen and 23,000 men-at-arms, which is mine. And they're, uh, oh my god, and they've got 15,000 more coming in. I just noticed Palatinate's got a army on one of my provinces is not uh, not allowed oh, it looks like you're winning how are you winning he's losing morale big time I guess you do have the defense right you have the fort uh, no it's I, I've got um, no idea actually he doesn't have military drilling. Do I have a, a guy, maybe? Yeah, I've got a guy that gives me morale of armies, but he's not very good. I oh my god, out. stop bringing me more troops. I'm going to try to sue him for peace. I'm probably going to concede defeat just to get the fuck out of this after this battle. This doesn't, see, doesn't seem very emperor-like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You're supposed to have like a hundred troops. You're just supposed to roll over them. Yeah, I haven't got that much money. Well, you need to have 20% inflation, then you would. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, because then I wouldn't be able to afford them. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm uh, taking out Poland, uh, I think. I've got one of his provinces down, and I'm just cleaning up the other crap that he's got. You conceded defeat. Hell yeah, I did. Well, France is not going to get any uh, weaker. I'm going to have to go over there and beat them up sooner or later. Do you have an imperial liberation against uh, France because of the Burgundy takeovers? Yeah, and because of province and Delphi and Avignon. I'm really upset that they disrupted my battle with Boston. No. However, I did learn that my land tech has suffered, and that needs to be resolved. So, who are you, are you still at war with anybody, or no? Uh, no. So it's just me at war now, then? With a crap load of people? 
Oh, it's still France as well. Don't let France come over here. <laughs> France can't get to you. Okay, good. But you end up at war with France. Well, I declared war on Palatinate, and then it mm. just pushed me into everything. So, but I'm trying to beat up on Poland here, and I'm doing it. Just a matter of time. But uh, I do, I got some Palatinate crap in my territory here. Maybe I'll see if I can run them over with six. Actually, it's probably not going to work. How about five? Well, it seems to be working. He's losing like 300 people. But where'd your whole army go? Oh, it's up oh, in, in Poland. Poland. I got it. I'm taking over Poland, or I'm, well, I won't be able to take them over. It'll be too much infamy, but I am teaching them a lesson, let's say. I was like, where the hell is your arm? No. I do want to take out Franken, though. I'm down 10 troops on my support limit. But Franken is a nice town. It's 44,000. It's got wine, so that's uh, the main reason why I want it. Fuck you, rebel. Get off my dick. Okay, there's another Poland province down. So I'll move to the next one. This war is still going on. Yeah, that battle looks like it's pretty intense. You probably are going to win it out, though, as long as your morale stays, because you've got the... Uh... You've got not only troops, but a lot of... Yep. I have a level... What is it? It's... Oh, I have two generals. I did not know that. Um, I have a level five or six morale uh, advisor, so... Oh, this army actually has a general, no wonder. That's why I won that. He's got a pretty good general. And now I'm trying to bring down my inflation, because... 2.1 is too much for me. <laughs> if I had that much inflation, I'd be laughing, but maybe that's the problem. There goes your Polish war. There goes Palatinate's army, so I'm just going to finish that off. Uh, Poland is doing just fine. The biggest army he has at 8 is eight, and that's actually uh, partly Lithuania's army too, but he just got little scattered troops, and it's not going to be too much, I'll probably, um, I don't know, I might just take money from them, because I don't want too much infamy, so. What is your infamy at? Uh, it's at almost four. Oh, yours isn't bad. 
so I'm going to, uh, it's going to take a little, a bit of time to, to do fr uh, Palatinate here. And then, who, there was somebody else I was at war with, uh, Frankfurt, oh, these guys. I could go over there, I guess. Say hello to Frankfurt, oh, I need, I need to... Military access. I'm gonna go spend a. I'm gonna go visit Frankfurt. Okay, there goes another uh, Poland province. I'm actually in the north part of Poland. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release Danzig up here in the north part and then maybe take some money or something. Although I kind of doubt he has any money, for some reason. I have a feeling that Poland is poor. Oh, they got a 10. I'll have to go and deal with that in a minute. My manpower just is has tanked to three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from filling your troops? Yeah, because France fucking decimated me. Yeah. Well, I got money. I should probably get some more troops, or I could uh, bring inflation down a bit. Let's see, what should I do? Crank inflation back? If I put my treasury thing all the way to the left, I'm losing nine bucks a turn. Every month. Oh yeah. And that reduces my inflation by 0.18. And I've got 22.6. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so consider I have lived way beyond my means for how many years that's what it that's what it means oh no oh no that's okay two versus one okay what's happening here oh well, that's okay okay uh, i'm just waiting for some morale and then i'm going to attack uh what's that place called I'm going to grab one infantry. Okay, there goes another Poland province, and now I'm going to attack their big army, because I just finished a province. So this is going to be 13 versus 11, although he's getting... Oh, now it's 13 versus 12. And he's getting another army, so it's going to be 13 versus 13, but I have a humongous general, so that's not going to be a problem. Man, I wish I could see that fight going on. I'll have to wait for the video. <laughs> it's, uh, I have about 6k uh, horse and about 7k infantry, and he has about 4k horse and about 9k infantry. And I've got a general, and he doesn't. And my general is pretty awesome, so he's going to get destroyed here. Although I'm losing a lot of troops for some reason. I'm losing more troops than him. At this point anyways. His land tech is the same as yours. Guess I'll make use of these magistrates by getting some cultural whatever it's called. Tradition. What? Why, why call a province worms? Who does that? Flatnate province is called Worms. Does that make any <laughs> sense? Um, I'm sure it does in German.
Okay, I'm having a little battle in Frankfurt here. Three versus three. Oh, Plotney wants peace. Yeah, they want white peace. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, so back to that Poland battle. I don't have very much uh, morale left. Oh no, I lost. Lost that fight. I lost all the morale. That's weird. I've got a friggin' morale uh, plus 0.3 morale uh, advisor. That shouldn't have happened. Three of these. A revolt just happened in that same province that I got booted out of. Seven versus seven. <laughs> oh good, I, I took out Frankfurt, so now I'm just sieging it. Everything is going perfectly. And I'm keeping an eye in the top right corner here of all the sieges and making sure that none of the hostile sieges gets too high. I just took out one that was at 40%, uh, a hostile siege. And actually, the Wanian looks like they're getting killed by the uh, rebels. By the, what are they called here? Hungarian Patriots. <laughs> oh, they got booted. Oh, I should go and chase them before they get their army back. I guess I'll do that. I'm going to go and chase them while they have no morale. Thanks, Hungarian Patriots. That was perfect timing. <laughs> I have a Cassus Belly against you expiring. Against me? What was yeah. it for? For the liberation of uh, Oberfeltz, Niederbayern, and Newmark. Oberfeltz? Yeah, Nieder. What was the other one? Niederbayern and Newmark. Newmark. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those were uh, justly taken. I was just teaching a lesson uh, to, um, who was it? I guess it was Bavaria down here. Not here, it was Brandenburg. They had to be taught a lesson. Oh no. Where's my other troops at? Oh, that's weird. Oh, Poland's got an army with no, with, it doesn't have any numbers. It has no number under it because it's all zero. That's weird. How did that happen? Where is this? It's in um, Moldavia, so east of, northeast of Transylvania. Oh, now it's got point two. I'm chasing him because I want him. Oh, he's only got, he's got two regiments. So I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, what was I gonna do? Okay, I need to come. I need, I'm sitting in my. My main army is in Lithuania, and it shouldn't be in there. <laughs> Getting too far away from the main battle. Oh, no. I think they took a province back. Yeah, they did. I'm trying to get Danzig, and I'm going to finish this war up. Okay, so um, Palatinate is done. So I'm going to finish this. So I want Franken. And then they're going to get vassalized big time. Oh, they're not going to do that. Oh, maybe they're... I'm not able to do that. Uh, I guess I'll just take Franken then. What are you not able to do? I'm not able to take one of their provinces and vassalize them. There's too, uh, there's oh, too much on the peace, whatever it's called. Yeah, the, they, Poland's got too many provinces to really vassalize, I think. The war this, no, this is uh, Palatinate. Oh, well, yeah, well, don't take Franken anyway. I want to take Franken. Why? Because it's just it, going to give you an unlawful province, which is going to crank your infamy more. So, Whereas okay. if you vassalize them, you may eventually get um, a mission to annex them. All right, fine. Okay, done. And then I'm going to do the same thing to Franken. And this couldn't be at a better time when I do need some more troops over fighting Poland. I'm going to move them all back over. Uh, 
Okay, so what happened to my army here? Where is it? Oh, it's sitting in Lithuania. So I'm sieging Danzig. Oh, there's